Alright, so I just uh, recorded an episode of Farming Simulator. So I'm going to title it like Simulator. Where I tease that I might play this game. And this is Age of Empires 4. I've had it, I don't know how long. And I don't know how long I've put it, or how many hours I've put it. But, I used to play Age of Empires 3 Gold Edition, or Empires Gold Edition, on the computer disc. God, I missed that game. But, oh, you didn't have so much of a campaign, or you did, but. In 1350, like what we know as the idyllic French countryside was a living hell. For more than 15 years, the people had suffered at the hands of English invaders. Little did they know that this war would last for another hundred years. But through this crucible of fighting, famine and plague, there would emerge the modern nation of France. England's King Edward III looked jealously across the English Channel. Wanting France for his own, he had added the fleur de lis, the symbol of France, to his own royal standard. This was an all out declaration of war. And in 1337, he invaded. But France already had a king, Philippe VI. As the English burned their way across the land, Philippe's army and his legendary knights marched to meet them and came face to face with the English longbow. A simple weapon, but the most devastating the knights had ever faced. The heroes of France fell to storms of English arrows. The war engulfed the French countryside. By 1351, the conflict was focused on Brittany. One fight stands out as a spectacular display of chivalry and a symbol of the wider conflict between the two enemy nations. The combat of the 30 is still commemorated here in Brittany. It was a dispute between two local families Supported by the opposing sides in the war, the French and English commanders decided to settle it through a trial of knightly combat. Each side would choose 30 champions to fight on neutral ground. France prepared to defend itself against England's finest. Alright, let's see how this goes. But anyway, like, you didn't get history lessons like that out of um, Age of Empires 3, I think it was. The Golden Age. Or something like that is what it was called. You didn't get scenes like that. Yeah, walk you through a little bit of history. And then on your way you went and you just fought. And my battle style is a lot different than I think what a lot of people's is. And like I couldn't win up against another poor player. Intent on ending the suffering of the French peasantry. So Jean de Beaumanoir sent a challenge to the English commander. 30 champions on each side would compete in a tournament for final claim to Brittany. With the battleground of the halfway oak agreed upon, Sir Jean set out to gather support from local knights. Okay, so I only have control. As a knight himself, 
Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. Incontinent. Oh. We have this game does a lot of cool, cool some cooler things. Most medieval tournaments were friendly in nature, held for sport and glory, but the combat of the Thirty was arranged between opponents mired in war. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany and brought great hardship to the people. Hmm. Sir Jean spotted an English raiding party attacking a nearby farmstead. Where are these? There they are. Was I supposed to... No, I would not have been able to bring all of the pike And I'm gonna lose already. Okay, so you know what we do. Because we need to uh, get all of them, I'm pretty sure. Because we didn't. We'll just restart and go again. Which is no big deal, it's no skin off my back. Intent on ending the suffering of the French peasantry, Sir Jean de Beaumanoir sent a challenge to the English commander. Thirty champions on each side would compete in a tournament for final claim to Brittany. With the battleground of the halfway oak agreed upon, Sir Jean set out to gather support from local knights. Alright, let's go. As a knight himself, Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. Do I just put that? Okay. Okay, so now I know that I have some fight. Most medieval tournaments were friendly in nature, held for sport and glory, but the combat of the Thirty was arranged between opponents mired in war. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany and brought great hardship to the people. So I'll have both of these. Avertisez 
Sir Jean spotted an English raiding party attacking a nearby farmstead. We should be able to do a fair amount of damage. Although that's just the push I get for having them in buy I guess. No, it's okay that we got one move. Back up. Okay. The French knights defeated the English raiders, and Sir Guy de Rochefort joined Sir Jean's party. Primary arms of four demoralizes nearby enemies, decreasing the melee armor. Sir Jean's search next brought him to Sir Geoffroy Dubois, whose squires were contending with a detachment of English longbowmen. The knights would use the great speed of their war horses to charge the archers and overwhelm them. Uh. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be served. The English longbowmen fell, but the French knights knew the enemy would attempt to retake the hilltop fortification and steeled themselves for further attacks. See, I'm not a huge fan of this. I would so much rather build up a massive force. And then just dominate. By the end of this, I really am going to know. Sir Geoffroy by his side, Sir Jean had secured the outpost. Now we need to heal up our units bad. Hey, 
Alright, we can move on while we wait for that to charge up. Make ton snos on la way. Je me tempère à Oxabitz. Oh yeah. Can I have been healing this whole thing? Looking to secure his honor, a young knight held his ground on a bridge in Sir Jean's path. guys just stand back. Honorably conceding defeat in the duel, Sir Yves Charel joined the cause. Alright, onward we do go. Now. No more people from this one? Okay. All right, we're halfway there. All right. So, so Jean entered the staging area for the tournament, where he prepared to choose which knights would join him in battle. So champions from each knight would be accompanied by his squires, young nobles in training to become knights themselves. Okay, so then where... How do I select? Attendez quand je commande avant. Retrayez vos amours. Do I just go through here then? Avant, compagnon. Quand je commande avant. Oh, I select if I want healing. Nine spearmen, five, four royal knights and five horsemen. I want royal knights and horsemen. We're gonna find out how this goes. Soy expressed, companion. Wait, do I just select all of them? So Jean had selected his champions. As the sun rose, the two sides entered the arena, ready for the first round of combat. Well, that means I need to be on this side. Defeating my shoulders is one of two. I think we start off with two of them. And I think green... Green might be ready? With both sides bloodied and bruised, the fighters called for a break, allowing the champions' respite to bandage their wounds. Reinforce units and research technologies.
Commandment. Okay, it looks like we're all healed up. Ave ye vot, beti un piti un pieda. Oh yeah. All right, I'm ready. Let's return to the field. Let's do this. Refreshed and reinvigorated. The French knights return to the arena for another round of combat. The combat of the Thirty was about to decide which nation would control the Duchy of Brittany. I should have called for some reinforcements. Oh well. Go with the load save. Yeah. Uh, if I hit play again, no, we can load from a saved point. We can go from here and load. I think that that'll make it so that I can just pick where I was. If not, we're going to edit it so that's really easy mode. Because I would assume it would have saved when I got to that point. Oh, okay. I was Each knight would be accompanied by his squires, their nobles go. in training to become knights themselves. I know I want that. And we can increase armor. I guess movement was pointless, and armor and healing would have been another. Better so Jean option. had selected his champions. As the sun rose, the two sides entered the arena, ready for the first round of combat.
with both sides bloodied and bruised. The fighters called okay, for a break, think we have allowing the champion's respite to bandage their wounds. All right, are we full to heal? We're healed. We're good. We're ready. All right, let's go back in. Which I already did. Back in we go. Refreshed and reinvigorated, the French knights return to the arena for another round of combat. So the combat of the Thirty side, the was about to decide which nation would control the Duchy of Brittany. I think we'll win this one, not by much, but we will win this one. Yeah, we're not Got it that time. And happy eventually. Triumphant. Saint Jean de Beaumanoir and his loyal knights claimed victory. The combat of the Thirty had decided control of Brittany in favor of the French. Little did the two sides know, this was just the beginning of a bitter war that would outlive them all. I was about to say, the English aren't going to give up that easy. That are the French that are trying to retaliate and get their land back. It's one of the two, and I'm not sure which one of the two. Maybe it's cool. I'm not the wisest when it comes to the history of it all. After victory at the combat of the Thirty, the French faced devastating raids from England's Black Prince. But France's King John II was closing in. Jean finally caught the English near the city of Poitiers in September 1356. The French army outnumbered the English by thousands. King Jean himself joined the fight, but what seemed a certain victory for France soon turned into a nightmare. The English longbow devastated the mighty French army. An endless hail of arrows gutted the main French force. Then the English captured King Jean. The fight was over. The Battle of Poitiers was another catastrophic defeat for the French. The English had destroyed most of France's nobility in a single day. Now they turned their attention towards taking the French capital, Paris. Okay. The invaders marched unopposed towards Paris. The remains of some of the medieval walls of Paris still stand today. As the English army approached, the terrified locals sought shelter behind these defenses. Could France's capital withstand the full might of the Black Prince's army? Oh, yeah, I gotta do defense. I like offense. I don't like defense. I mean, I guess if I look at it as defense is an offense.
The English Black Prince had raided the French countryside without mercy. And now, his army had come for the capital. With the English on their doorstep, it fell to the French army and the people of Paris to defend the walls of their proud city. Hoping to avoid open battle, the French began fortifying the city, manning the walls and calling every available soldier to his post. As the French hastened their preparations, several detachments of English soldiers were spotted closing in on the city. The English showed no mercy, burning their way to Paris via three routes, each of which was home to villages and farms that supplied the capital. Wait, so I gotta attack these guys off this struck out at the English front line, the, the French had slowed the enemy's advance. Let's 
Great, I'm gonna have to work my way very slowly now. As the French continued to rally their army, the English took the last of the surrounding villages and had almost encircled Paris. Okay, so they were meant to do that. But... Oh no, you ain't gonna make it out of this one. countryside in flames and the English at the city gates, the French army steeled themselves for battle. Now came the capital's true test. Would the mighty walls of Paris hold against a fearsome English siege? The Parisian guard raised the alarm as the English began their first assault on the city walls.
French army fought valiantly, repelling the first English attack. I thought I had selected the right person for the job. No, I selected a monk by Yeah, I don't think I have any lumber bee. Okay, I do have some lumber bee. change the rally point or something right here. Oh, so all my units have been chilling out over here. Okay, well, we're going to come up here. Oh, 
I wish that I had known that I had left the units there. I would just be left. City, so long as its mighty landmarks did not fall. Yeah, there's not much more I can do at this point. The ruthless English army began burning the great Parisian landmarks. The French were running out of time to expel the enemy from their city. Well, there's not much I can really do. Because I have stuff cute. Or I did have stuff.
That might solve some of my problems. Not a hundred percent sure that this will solve anything. The English Black Prince had raided the French countryside without mercy, and now his army had come for the capital. With the English on their doorstep, it fell to the French army and the people of Paris to defend the walls of their proud city. Okay. We have these guys. We have these guys. I'm gonna go Hoping to avoid open battles, yes. the French began fortifying the city, manning the walls and calling every available soldier to his post. We're gonna upgrade the. Now we're gonna set this here. Compagnon, Royet Spiel. We As the French hastened their preparations, several here. detachments of English soldiers were spotted closing in on the city. Because hopefully I can attack more of them. I'm supposed to bring them in. Where are my villagers? You can work on The English showed no mercy, burning their way to Paris via three routes each of which was home to villages and farms that supplied the capital. We can work on stone in here. Hey, days. Wait, I want to come over here first. No, you're not coming over here. Having struck out at the English front line, the French had slowed the enemy's advance. Oh, 
we're just gonna sit here and prep like hell. Okay, well, we're all going to lose our heads if we stick around, so we need to be open. Because I'm not a fan of losing. I get tired of it. Actually, it was this one, and I need to know. Okay, I don't you know that should not be shown that, but whatever. Um... Oh! I don't have to do these in order? Well, shit, we're gonna say I won that. We're, we're just gonna say that I, I defended Paris. The walls of Paris held out against the English onslaught. England's King Edward and the Black Prince abandoned the siege. They marched towards Chartres to try their luck at conquering a less formidable target. But before they could attack, a violent storm hit the army. I suppose I should actually killing a thousand English soldiers in a tempest of hail and freezing winds. To Edward, this Black Monday disaster seemed like divine retribution. A sign that it was time to stop waging war and make peace with France's King Jean. But even as peace between kings was reached, Actually, the I'll people of France were still one. living in bloodshed and turmoil. Guys, enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.